Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about the biggest comic book crowdfunder you're never gonna hear of mm -hmm. in the mainstream comic book industry. You're never gonna hear of on Reddit. Uh, it's it's shocking how well Eric July's uh, crowdfunding campaign for his first Ripa Ripa verse title has done in like two days. It's done 1.3 million dollars. Uh -huh. Million million. Right. And all the media wants to do is try to bury it. They're trying to bury it. You will not find anybody talking about it on any comic book blogs or news sites. Uh, yeah, just wait. The, the hit pieces, I guarantee you, will be coming. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was kind of shocked at, well, one, I was shocked at how well it did because this is completely unheard of. I mean, we're talking at 1.3 million in a couple of days. Now, we have been telling you guys for a while now, you can do this on your own site. You know, people have done it before. Yeah. Not to this level of success, but people, you know, you don't have to go through Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or those places if you do not want to. And that's the thing. Uh, July put put the campaign up on his own website. Uh, you can do that even through Shopify now. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are starting to, for whatever reason, they're walking away from Kickstarter and Indiegogo. I know even people that were huge fans of, of uh, Kickstarter, like uh, uh, Spike Trotman, went to her own website mm -hmm. and did, you know, the Not very crowd. well, but that's another story. Uh, yeah, I mean, you lose out, you lose out in a lot of cases on, you know, people that just kind of find well, she was project. mad at, at Kickstarter because the, did, she was, you know, convinced they were, they were using blockchain, even though they said they were just talking they about talking it. They hadn't even done it, it yet. Yeah, they... And yeah. because of the, uh, you know, and I think Kickstarter is, is not falling into line the way people like her want them to anymore yeah. either which is a problem for them. But if you go out to, now this list, I haven't updated this in like a year, but this is between Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Um, Berserker did $1.4 million on Kickstarter. That was over the course of the entire. And that was like a month, month and right. a half. Uh, July did it, did almost, almost that much that in much two in, days. Yes, two days. You would think, especially given that he is a, a black creator, this is a black superhero, uh, you would think that that comic book media would be uh, uh, dancing in the aisles, right. celebrating Look, this. Comics are doing really well. Comics are doing the, well. No, minority comics are doing fantastic. This is a win. Because it is a win. It, it is. Uh, financially, it's a win. But because Eric July's politics aren't in line with Twitter. You know, I don't even know what his politics are. I don't even know what his politics are. I, I know he's... I, I thought my... I, I don't care. I think he's libertarian-ish. I, I don't That's know. That's what you are. But, you know... Yeah. I, 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 I'm... It doesn't matter what your politics are for real because Twitter will decide who you are even if you are not that person because they said so. You have to respect how they identify, but they do not have to respect how you identify. So we're, we're going to talk about this because this is, um, you know, we did another video today talking about Dave Chappelle and cancel culture failing. And, and this is another example of this being a massive failure for cancel culture because Twitter, they were fuming yesterday about this. Like, why does it, if, if you don't like this book, and of course the reasons being like, well, Eric July, I don't know if he's comics gate, not comics I, I, have, I have no idea. We don't know him. But apparently he was, you know, chumming up to those people, those people, and Twitter didn't like it. And um, I so saw- So what? Twitter can sit and spin. I saw a lot of really disgusting, racist- Yeah, that's what made me Racist mad. tweets. That's what made me aware of the situation. I saw some stuff and I was like, what the hell? They were calling him some horrible things. I'm like, this reminds me of when Zoe Saldana stuck up for Chris Pratt. Yes. Because you're you're the right kind of person until you don't toe the line. Right, and then um, when she did, they were calling her really awful racist slang yep. terms. Yep. It was pretty bad. And that's, yes, that's what, you know, you, you go on about how we need more winning comic books by the minority creators and you have a win here and instead of celebrating the win, you instead choose to to be the most bigoted, hateful person ever. And, the, and these extremists on the left are the most toxic, istophobic tool bags I've ever seen. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this because they're already starting to ban any and all uh, discussion of this comic. Oh, because that'll stop it. That'll stop it. You, you know, you do know when you ban something, it makes people more interested in it, right? Why is this Why is this banned? People yeah. want to know why it's banned. Yeah, you're just, it's going to work in the opposite of your intention. I mean, which is a win for him, so knock yourselves out. Yeah, he's got $1.3 million. Yeah. What, what do you got? He's laughing at you all the way to the bank, so what do you got? keep trying. So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over uh, 272,000 subs. Thank you for the support. 
Uh, we do talk about the comic book industry. We talk about crowdfunding. The situation with crowdfunding is just so effed up. I mean, it really is so effed up right now. Uh, there, there is a lot of opportunity out there for creators to crowdfund comics. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm talking people from all over the, all over the place, politically, whatever. It never used to matter. It used to be about the, the project itself. Right. I don't even know whether people lean politically most of the time. I don't care. No. Um, but, you know, since like 2018, 2017, 2018, uh, there have been uh, gatekeepers at comic book, uh, you know, media outlets and in um, crowdfunding. crowdfunding, actually some of them working at companies well, for a while. I think some of the crowdfunding like Kickstarter is starting to turn against that. They are. Which they are. is why, you know, these people are even extra salty at Kickstarter. Yeah, because Kickstarter is basically like we have to make money and, yeah. and these projects, you don't have to like them. You don't have to like Cyber Frog. You don't have to like what, but but they're making money. Mm-hmm. They're making money and they're making us money and they're paying the salaries of our people. And the people who are standing in the way of our company making money, guess what? They get laid off when we hit a bump in the road. But what was so interesting about this up until 2018, comic book news outlets would even cover comic book projects by people that they didn't necessarily like, but it was still news. Right. Yeah. This is definitely news. This is news. This is like, this is one of the biggest comic book crowdfunders of all time. Mm -hmm. And it was done in such an amazingly short period. And it wasn't using uh, Kickstarter Indiegogo. No. Um, But they're not talking about, they're not going to talk about, in fact, they're banning all conversation about it. And this happened before with uh, Vance Guyver's projects, stuff like that, because they don't like, the comics gate people, um, but the the subreddit, the comic book subreddit, which has like 2.5 million mm-hmm. people, banned all discussion of this comic book project because it, it, it has ties to a hate a hate group, what a, ra- hate group? a racist hate group. What racist hate? Wait, wait, the racist hate group, but by, by, done by the black guy. Yes, yes. This this comic book. How what what hate group is it really tied to? Comics gate. Well, where is that listed as an actual hate group? Uh, in a couple of, of media outlets. Because you that, do know things like Antifa and stuff like that are listed as hate groups. And I guarantee you a bunch of people that are members of that on those groups. Um, are they banned? No. I'm sure they're not. So it's racist because the black guy. The black guy, yes. The doesn't cons- vote the way they want. The conservative-leaning black guy with a black superhero. Um, black-owned business. I mean, all these things should be celebrated current year. It just it blows my mind. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. We're like, I mean, any, if, if he had the right politics, it'd be like, oh my God, go him. Look how well this guy's doing. Right. Look, but, you racist. Look, he's kicking all your asses. Because they didn't vote the way we want him to, we, we, they, they, they assume. I don't even know. Yeah, they, he does, and he has ties to things they don't like. Well, we're going to have to just block him. And that's not doing you any good. He's still kicking ass. You're just actually making him bigger. So I guess that's, I guess, thank you. Good job. Yeah, good I job. mean, you should be thanking you for this, I guess. So um, the message read, sorry, this post has been removed by the moderators of our comic books. Moderators remove posts from feeds for a variety of reasons, including keeping communities safe, right. civil, and true to their purpose. You Wait, just so you're talking about a crowdfunder, so it's not against the purpose. I can see the civility of people who are like, well, you're a comics gate, how dare you? But, you know, are you basically implying that it's not safe because it's a, 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 a not white creator? It's it's going to, yeah, it's going to make, um, it's going to make black creators feel unsafe. Because... I would, I would say that suggests that that's the case and it's, that that's, then, then like maybe this Reddit is a hate group. Oh, it's, it's Reddit's ridiculous. Comic I know, I'm just saying, I'm just like, we could argue with the opposite and be like, well, that place must be a hate group. So a message from the moderator said you have been permanently banned from participating because they posted a link to this video. You can still view and subscribe, but you won't be able to post or comment. It continued. If you have any questions regarding your ban, you can contact the moderator team for replying to the message. Uh, so the user who posted the link um, did re- contact the team. So I'm curious, why was I banned? The moderator responded, you broke rule number one as pertaining to supporting comics from hate groups. Well, we're, you proved where this is listed as an official hate group by the government. Rule number one, our comics book subreddit reads, be civil, racial, sexual, homophobic, or cultural slurs. But we're going to ban someone talking about a comic book by a black person. You, you're banning... A comic book created by a black creator featuring a black superhero. But you have to be civil. You can't use racial, sexual, homophobic, or cultural slurs. And I saw a lot. do not disparage differently abled or threaten to incite harm against other users or creators. Kid, I'm just, okay. Take a step back. If you're not, 
involved in the day to day. Basically, this is all about playing keep away. They don't want um, any kind of uh, you know wrong thinking crowd funders to to be posted in their their subreddit. Whatever. Do you not realize how fucking ridiculous you look and petty? Well, yes. Well, that niggas any form of bigotry or support of hate groups such as comics gate is not permitted. They just violate all their own rules. Yeah. So subreddit, the subreddit basically is uh, again is is um, it's phobic. Yep. It's against black people. Yep. It's labeling groups as hate groups because they don't agree with them. Yep. And talk about bigotry. They yep. themselves have just violated their own rule. Yeah. Because they're well, you're supposed to be there to protect people that are minorities, and they're they're being bigots against a certain person who's a minority because they they assume that they're part of Comicsgate. This is. This is where we're at current year. Like, I can't, I'm just astounded. I was astounded by some of the tweets I saw yesterday. Wait, so they're in trouble because they didn't respect people's pronouns. What? But they're going to ban this this discussion of this comic book done by a black person. Yes. I mean, from my understanding, it wasn't just this one person got banned. The whole discussion did. Yeah, the whole, this happened before. I They did this with Florida Man. And Florida Man was actually written by Mike Barron, who's an Eisner winning creator. Mike Barron was one that like anything he did, it was, you know, he was hoisted up to being like, wow, this is a whole nother level. You know, back in the day, Nexus was a huge deal mm -hmm. and the comic book media loved him. And now because of freaking politics and weird shit going on, uh, Mike Barron, Eisner winning creator is no longer allowed to, to post his, his stuff. On the this, Reddit. Is, this is insane. It, it is insane. So Reddit basically is everything they're saying that they're against. Yeah. You basically just proved that you're a bunch of istophobic assholes. This is just, yeah, it's absolutely bonkers. Um, I, I just, I can't wrap my head around this. And again, it's like, you know, for everybody being like, oh, let's, you know, let's kumbaya, let's have comics all get together and everybody just stop hating on each other. It's like. No, no, they don't want that. They don't but want But they're that. like, we want minorities and we want to push, you know, the diversity inclusion. And they don't actually want diversity inclusion. They want themselves using these, 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 you know, diversity inclusion, you know, mm. to try to get themselves big deals. And when they don't get them, they try to stop everybody else, even if they're diverse themselves. Because they are literally the bigots they're yelling about. They are, they have just proved their own bigotry by this shit. They should never have done that. Yeah. And what happened was this book made the money. It made because a lot of people, and there were, I mean, thousands and tens of thousands of backers. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are uh, giving their Marvel and DC money mm -hmm. to creators like Eric July. Mm -hmm. You don't have to agree with his politics, but they're they're giving him his money because... He's giving them what they want. He's giving them what they want, yeah. They're giving him their money because he's giving them what they want. Um, he's giving them comics the way they used to be mm -hmm. and people are tired of all the bullshit. And, and when you've got the comic book subreddit doing shit like this, you're clearly racist, clearly, obviously, you must obviously be must be because you know, you're violating your own terms of service you banned a black, a black man from promoting his comic on your forum because that's not good you luck. think he's comics gate. Yeah, it's not good luck. So you just made yourself a hate group way to go Reddit. Uh, you know what? The subreddit is clearly a hate group. It doesn't have to be true. I have decided it's a hate group because I say so. It is a hate so, group. So now they're a hate group. Um, it's not recognized as one, but neither is Comicsgate. It's just because they decided it's a hate group. So I guess we all should decide that Reddit is a hate group. That the subreddit is, is a hate group. It's just absolutely bonkers. They are, they are racist for sure. I, I just can't believe that there's this much drama over crumbs i mean the comic book industry in the grand scheme of things that's it's, why there's this much drama because it's just crumbs. It's crumbs i mean there are i mean this is an amazing <laughs> he got the whole damn cookie and they're pissed that's it he got the whole cookie and they're pissed but i mean this is an amazing amount of money but i can tell you like uh, amaranth uh she posted her earnings on twitter she makes like two million dollars a month mm -hmm. a month just doing her videos and live streams and shit so the comic book industry like loses its shit over one guy making a million dollars. And the most racist, racist, toxic comments. Yeah. Um, it's just it's just for people who are so much about diversity inclusion, and you know we need to support minority creators. As soon as it's somebody they don't think aligns with them, or takes from them in their opinion, that you weren't going to make that anyway. You were never going to. You were never. You were never going to no. get the cookie. You were only going to get a crumb, maybe. Never gonna get the cookie. Just getting the crumbs. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. Just I'm 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 just always astounded. I'm just appalled at the behavior. How how shitty. You want to talk about real racism and real bigotry? This kind of behavior is that.
Yeah. Anyway, uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.